Doc, before the break, we were, we were saying it is re responsible parenthood. It, is not, it does not say responsible motherhood. motherhood it's yeah. parenthood. In other words, there, is a, there should be a, 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 a responsibility and a burden here that should be reminded of fathers yes. uh, as well. And I, of course, I'm full transparency. I'm saying this also for the sake of my brother-in-law. <laughs> na may show na rin po sa 1PH, Clinica Flavier, at ayan niya, pa, panuorin niya po yan sa teleradyo ng signal sa 1PH, Clinica Flavier. But his particular advocacy is precisely involving the males in the yes. discussion about reproductive health. Talk to us about where the Filipino males are uh, uh, with regards to responsible parenthood. Unfortunately, they have disappeared from the numbers. Mm. It used to be that about 0.01% were uh, using, uh, were had undergone vasectomy. I think it's gone below that now. Mm. And uh, it, that is a worrying issue for us because we know that 10% of the women, married women, want to limit the number of children, meaning they want to stop. That's two million women. That's mm. based on your studies or Based surveys? on demographic health survey of okay. 2017. Mm. So two million women want to stop uh, uh, having children. The only method available to them is tubal ligation, mm. which is quite invasive. Mm. You and know, expensive. not all and hospitals are, are uh, mm. providing it. But there, are, there is a method that their husbands could undertake, which is the no scalpel vasectomy. Mm. Mm. So potentially, there could be two million women, who, uh, men, who could step up and say, okay, we'll get the SNP, as it mm. is called, yeah. uh, the vasectomy, instead of women having to undergo... Hey, doc, before we get ligation. into encouraging more men to consider uh, the, the male interventions here, and it's not just, I mean, it's non-scalpel vasectomy, there's use of condoms yeah. and so on, this is what we're talking about. Uh, and their own awareness also sa their role in the natural family planning. Yeah, that's uh, another important uh, element. Uh, but before we get into mm. that, ang tanong ko muna is before we encourage mm. them, may, uh, gusto ko malaman, bakit bumaba yung male participation sa ano? Well, I, we, uh, we did a survey of the hospitals, hosp uh, government hospitals providing tubal ligation and vasectomy. We found out only a third of government hospitals are providing uh, ligation mm. and uh, about 10 percent only 10 percent are providing vasectomy services mm. so even if men wanted to have a vasectomy it might not be available but do they well um, we we are reaching out through social media mm. and we are getting a number of uh, me men who are willing to do it um, but I, do, do they know exactly what what it but will it, do to them, because I, I think you're a man, you're concerned that you will <laughs> lose mm. your virility if you cannot father children. I mean, maybe you, you can explain that better to the people. Yes, actually, there is no uh, loss of virility, no loss of sexual function, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what we keep assuring people. But uh, these are myths and, and it uh, can misconceptions. Be it can be reversed. It can be reversed. Through That's microscopic the important surgery. Thing. Yes. Yes. If Both you want to have children again, it can be reversed. With about a, bet, a little better than 50% chance of success. Mm. Mm. Uh, and the same for tubal ligation. Okay. The tubes are a bit bigger, so it depends on how it was uh, done. But it both can be reversed. Mm. So, uh, but with uh, with that kind, of, with those chances, you know, one. But, 50, but 50 tell, tell us about, you've conducted studies in Skyro, no? Have you conducted studies on the attitudes of, I'm following up on his question, mm. the attitudes of our Filipino men toward family planning? I mean, I mean are they willing, I know they put the burden of, a, of a contraception on the women. You take pills, bahala ka na sa katawan mo. Yeah. I, I refuse to wear rubbers. I refuse to, hmm. to undergo vasectomy. I mean, has, have attitudes changed? Well, no, In, no. They have absolutely not changed. no change. Um, and I feel that uh, we have uh, been neglect, neglecting that part of the program. Even sa, even sa natural family planning. It's uh, a couple. They, they, oh, they, but do, is there a cultural barrier there as well on, on their perception of, well, let's say, coitus interruptus? Do, do men have something against that as well? Well, uh, of course, uh, in the act, uh, 
you don't like to be mm. to have to withdraw Bitten. in that way. Oh, Bitten, ayaw mong uh, oh. So they really don't like that. Uh, oh. So they prefer using a condom, but it must be, you know, the the type that is uh, more natural, mm. that is not. Uh, that is not uh, and, the, know, uh, and for them the cellophane most, that uh, oh, some and for people them the most think. natural is the most dangerous and the most yes.